Hey everybody, Jess here, Key Tarot. Welcome to you all. This is going to be a real quick general reading. I don't know who it's for. I don't know what it's going to be about. So let us just um, say a blessing and we'll get started, all right? Holy Spirit, thank you for being with us here today and in every breath that we take. We ask that these messages be received by those who are meant to hear them. Amen. Um, I'm going to start with this after tarot. See what's going on out there. This is somebody who feels like they've lost everything. Oh. No happy thoughts. They've lost everything. An ending. Ten of Swords is the Minor Arcana of the Death card. Shoot. It happened real fast, whatever this was. Now this person... Whoever you are, if this is your situation... See, I have the King of Pentacles here, I have the Queen of Pentacles here. That's Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Energy... But beyond that, whoever you are, it's going to be okay. It's going to be okay, buddy. It's going to be okay. Um, things look dark right now. Libra season. I've got the Knight of Pentacles here on the bottom of the deck. This is a lot of um, earth sign energy. Um, so Libra season is a time for rebalancing your life. It's a time when we cut away things that, things, places, people, situations that are just not working well for us, not creating growth in our lives, and we make a change, right? But it, I always tell people transitions are the, tra they are the chunkiest times in our lives. They are so difficult to navigate because you don't know what's on the other side of them. So just relax. It's going to be, I know you can't relax because this is a bad situation, but just understand that things are going to get better. They will improve. It will be okay. Somebody here has to start over again. They have to start from the beginning and it feels like it's going to be really small like small steps, small starts, starting over again from scratch almost, maybe downsizing into a different home. You may have had everything at some point and now it feels like you have nothing. And you have to rebuild. But here's the thing about you, you're very smart you have the love of a lot of friends and family and you're highly independent. You really, really are. You have all of these. Um, golly, you are such a beautiful person too. Um, you have a lot of responsibility on your shoulders, but you manage it very well. You are such a good person, whoever you are. I just, I love you, whoever you are. You take care of everyone around you. Little children, I see elderly people I see you just have a lot going on right now um, this is gonna be a time where the people who love you um, show up and the people who are really not important don't some of you may be choosing to start your own businesses some of you may be newly single mm. yeah I have the Justice card that just flipped over here. That's Libra energy. Um, that's the time that we're in right now, but it's about courtroom, um, dealings, documents. Um, I'm hearing mediation paperwork. Some of you feel like, some of you, I just, I'm seeing somebody who's, um, like their head is spinning, like it's like inside their head. They just can't even settle their thoughts. They can't settle their mind. There's just so much upheaval and it really, and you're saying to yourself, like, it was all my choice. It was all my choice. And why did I do this? And, but it, but this is someone who is not, not questioning their own choices, but golly, I didn't know it was going to be this hard. I didn't know it was going to be this bad. I didn't know, it, I didn't know it was going to be this difficult. You're very brave, whoever you are. Um, some of you were involved in third-party situations and it caught up with you. 
And it was, when we really look at what that was, it was um, you being in a bad situation for so long and you finally, it caught up with you. Something caught up with you. Something's caught up with someone here. You see how somebody's foot's getting caught there. That seven of swords is someone who didn't tell the truth about something. Mm. You have a big heart, whoever you are, and you have a lot of um, really good things about you. Everyone else sees you as being very, very amazing. They see you as someone who can take care of everyone and everything, but you were kind of crumbling underneath it all. You really suppressed this. Um, I do feel like there's a third party situation here. I really do. I don't have that card out here, but I have this lover's energy and it goes on top of the six of um, cups and this ace of cups here. And this is someone who had to make a choice and it really doesn't even feel like you made a choice about a person. It feels like you made a choice about yourself. Decision time, right? And this is going to feel a lot different in a couple of months. It's gonna take about six weeks for this to feel better. It is, um, because right now the feelings are very raw. What do I wanna use here? I'm gonna use this Chipotle deck to clarify. Um, there's a lot, there's like too much going on. You don't feel like you can deal with it. You don't feel like, there's that King of Pentacles again, golly. Um, you could have a lot of heavy earth sign in your chart. There's the Six of Cups again. Um, you can have heavy earth sign in your chart. Um, some of you, and there's the king of cups, some of you, oh, you, sweetie pie, you have a lot and there's the emperor and that's the match to this empress here that I have. Some of you have been involved in a relationship for a while. There's the moon again under there. Um, some of you have been in, involved in a relationship, a third party relationship for a while, and you've kept all these feelings suppressed and you've kept things hidden for a long time, but everything's come up to the surface all of a sudden. Could have something to do with that new moon that we just had. These, I'm telling you guys, you know what? I used to poo poo astrology, but I don't anymore. I definitely don't. And I am not an astrologer, but let me just tell you, there's a lot um, with with astrology and and when you consider that the moon controls the tides and we're like 80 percent water in our bodies yes you're gonna see some changes when we have the full moon and the new moon it's gonna be a thing yeah um and that's just the moon that doesn't count all the other planets and the way that they are <laughs> impacting our lives every day it's worth doing some digging it's worth doing some research for sure um somebody here had to make a choice and you've chosen to follow your heart. You've chosen yourself and you may have chosen another person here as well. Some of the, there's a very single independent energy here behind you that 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 feels like you. Um but it does feel like your heart belongs to someone that you were not with. You're being very brave in making this decision and you're very clear-sighted and very honest. Some of you had to really dig deep and really pray about this situation. Some of you had to go into like deep meditation. Um, some of you really, like even I'm seeing somebody like walking trails and like thinking about their lives and trying to focus. Someone, someone walking out in the wilderness, somebody walking out in the woods. Um, I see sneakers that have black, um, souls. Yeah, some of you are um, moving house. I have the Ace of Cups again, um, physically relocating. Golly, this is an awful lot for someone, but honestly, like my heart isn't hurting for you. Like I'm not feeling like, like sometimes I'll do readings and I'll feel like a lot of heart chakra energy where like, it's like painful. This isn't painful. This feels like you're choosing yourself for the first time in a long time. And there's almost like a, I don't know if it's peace. I don't know if it's just stoicism. I don't know. It just, it feels very peaceful here for me. 
you may feel kind of disconnected right now, but at the same time, it feels like you know what you want and it feels like you're doing the right thing for you. Um, I have this emperor empress energy, regardless of whether you're male or female, masculine, feminine energy doesn't matter. If this is your reading, you are making this right. This is the right choice for you. You may feel a little discombobulated, a little bit up in the air right now, but when you look at, I've got this moon out here twice, right? When you look at how many emotions you've been suppressing and for how long, how many years, and this seven of swords is someone who doesn't tell the truth, right? And I always say, you know, the seven of swords gets like this bad rap for being like the lying liar who lies, right? But I'm always telling you, there's a reason, there, there are a lot of reasons why people don't always tell the truth. There are a lot of reasons, and it doesn't mean that they're a bad person. It just means they don't know how. They don't know how to tell the truth because they're afraid of hurting someone. They're afraid of rocking the boat. They're afraid of disruption. Whoever you are, well, you finally done and gone and rocked that boat, I guess. Mm-hmm. And you know what? It's rough. This is rough. This is stormy seas. But you are choosing yourself, and it looks like you may be choosing someone outside of a commitment that you were in as well. There's just an awful lot of upheaval and you're like, I don't know if I can even navigate this. Here's the thing though, you have a lot of friends and family that support you. They really, really do. They want you to be happy. And this is the end for you. This is like the end of a time for you. This this world card indicates like five year, seven year, nine year, 12 year cycle. This is like, I've been living this nightmare for too long and I'm not gonna do it anymore. I'm gonna be happy. I choose to be happy. I choose to be happy. But you're feeling a little isolated in this. You feel like you don't, you're not really ready to talk about it. You're not really ready to tell people. You'll get there when you're ready. There's a change coming up, obviously. Big change, big, big change. And it really is all about your independence and you being single, being on your own. I want to get another deck real quick. Um, just because we've gone through a few here. Um, I'm just, I'm going to use this one. Yeah, because I've got the Ace of Cups on the bottom of this deck. You've got the Ace of Cups three times here. This is it. And the Wheel of Fortune again. Nicely to end. The Lovers again. I love it when you guys give me repeat cards and I don't even have to shuffle. Um, you made a choice in a love relationship. And um, I've got a heavy Sagittarius on here. I've got heavy Earth sign on here. This person may be someone that you work with or someone you see at work. There's that two of swords again too. A lot of repeats in here, nicely done. This new, per it's not a new person. This person's been in your energy for a while. You're just finally pulling the plug on a previous commitment so that it's not so that you can be with this person. And let's make this clear. It's not because you want to be with this other person. It's because you're unhappy in your other situation. If you're with this other person or not, it's kind of, there's kind of like this line of demarcation here. Maybe yes, maybe no. It's not about them. This is about you. But there is another person, this soulmate energy that's hovering in your life right here. There's kind of this wait and see sort of energy. It's like you're going to wait until things, the dust is settled on what you're doing before you take any action towards this person. Oh, golly. Hold on. Sorry, I don't mean to be dramatic, but that star in the reverse is someone who's feeling like they're, and there's the emperor again. This is someone who feels like they were responsible for so much and they dropped, they dropped, I'm hearing dropped the cookies, but like drop the ball, you know? You're beating yourself up an awful lot, whoever you are. And that's okay. You do you and you go through the emotions that you have to go through. But the truth is, is you were unhappy for a long time. Really. And you deserve to be happy. Yeah, you do. I feel like someone wants to cry, um, almost tears of relief, 
but also tears of stress, <laughs> stress tears. This is a new beginning for you and it's going to feel really good. Um, this person that you're attracting into you, into you may be um, a fire sign, but they're very attractive to you. There's something about them that just lights you up or you light them up one or the other, probably both. This is someone, again, with this King of Pentacles energy. Had that out so many times. Um, you're just, you're saying, look at all the damage I've done. This is, I'm reading for someone who's beating themselves up, like, oh, golly. It's okay, you're okay. Everybody um, makes choices and sometimes our choices hurt other people. And it doesn't mean that you wanted to hurt someone else. It just means that you wanted something more or different for yourself. And sometimes that causes um, distortion, problems, upheaval, emotions in other people. You making this choice for yourself is not going to be easy for you or anyone else necessarily, but it is an authentic choice and it's honest to you. And it feels like you're being honest for the first time in a long time and you've really tried. This is, these are very long suppressed emotions that you've had. And that's not healthy. It isn't healthy. You know it. And finally, it's caught up with you here. And finally, you've pulled the plug on something that you know you should have pulled, pulled the plug on several years ago. And you're wrapping it up. You're making a decision. And the decision is for yourself. Whether you end up with this soulmate or not, I don't know. I guess we can do some digging on that. Whatever it is, you're about to be very happy. There's something that happens either with a Sagittarius or during Sagittarius season. You share a similar friend group with this person or a community group with this person. You haven't been able to get close to this person because of this other situation. Again, yes, you are physically relocating. Um, you're going to reunite with this person. There's going to be a celebration where the two of you come together and then it's go time after that. It's like a friendship becomes more than that or um, this relationship grows in some way. You guys may have children. One of you may have children or both of you may have children. You got this King of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. You've been really hiding your feelings, your true feelings for this person for a long time. And that dam is about to burst. Yeah? Yeah. We're going to catch up with this energy. This is a really nice energy. It's, I know it's rough. I know it's rough. I know it's awful. I know it's horrible. But quite honestly, this is a relief. I don't feel any like pain here. I don't feel any stress. My stomach doesn't hurt. I don't have like any spiritual indigestion on this. This is a decision that you have made. And I think you should be very proud of yourself for it. Even though you may not be, you may not be proud of everything that you've done or everything that you felt or the actions that you've taken in the past. But this is something you're doing that is authentic to you and you should appreciate yourself for it because it does take a lot of bravery to do this, whoever you are. Alrighty, um, we'll catch up with this end of the reading on another day because this is not fully formulated yet. Um, you're still kind of working this out. There's like this, this delineation right here where it's, I don't think this is going to take that long, but we're looking kind of towards Sagittarius season for a change here. It's like Scorpio season, like Libra season is where the shit goes down. Uh, it feels like Scorpio season is when you, the dust starts to settle and Sagittarius season is when this situation picks up. So we'll catch up with this um, then anyway, probably before then. Anyway, I love you guys very much. Thanks for letting me read your cards. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Mwah! Have a good night.